Okay, so for initial setup for this lab, we're gonna need LabQuest device, variable load, and energy sensor. So these are two different sensors, energy sensor, variable load. We're gonna need a wind turbine. So you're gonna wanna grab a wind turbine, fan, and of course our iPad. So that's what we need for initial setup. So for this lab, I already have everything hooked up that you're gonna need to hook up. So let's follow along. I've got my energy sensor hooked up to my LabQuest, so there should be two plugins for your energy sensor. Should be getting a reading something like that initially. And then you're gonna wanna grab a couple uh, sets of alligator clips. And so I hooked up my energy sensor to my variable load using a black and a red alligator clip. Make sure to plug it in black to black, red to red. And make sure these are nice and tight once you've actually plugged this in. So you're gonna plug metal on metal and make sure it's in there nice and snug. And then on the other side here, for our source, I took another set of alligator clips and I plugged these right onto the metal end of our turbine. So again, you're gonna hook up the turbine using alligator clips to the energy sensor, red to red, black to black. So this is a overview of my whole setup when everything is hooked up. So here should look something like this. I've got my fan plugged in already and I have it set to a certain distance from the wind turbine. As long as you keep your distance consistent, um, measuring it out won't matter. So just make sure it's a appropriate distance away from the wind turbine, which you might have to adjust anyway once you hook up your propellers. So the next thing that we're going to do is calibrate our lab quest to find maximum power before we run our um, different sets of variable choose your own trials so I'm gonna go to my box of wind turbines here and I'm just gonna grab one at random um, don't take this whole setup to your lab station because I've only got you know a certain amount of wind turbines for the whole class and so now I'm gonna hook up the initial one that I grabbed again it doesn't really matter which one you use um, to find your max power to calibrate but you are going to want to write that down in your lab sheet. So once I've got all this hooked up, I'm just going to turn my fan on. I would turn it on high, um, but again, as long as you're consistent, as long as the distance between the propeller and the fan is consistent, and as long as your speed is consistent, it shouldn't matter. So pick one and stick with that. So this is going, if yours is having trouble getting going, just give it a little flick. It might. Uh, take a little bit to get going. Mine went right away it looks like, which is good. So this is already spinning pretty nice. So this is the part where we're gonna fill out this data sheet and we're gonna try to find our max power. And so the way we would do that here is by adjusting the variable load. And so this first column here is asking um, to set the resistance to 10 ohms so we're going to pay attention to the resistance down here and I'm just going to move this you got to be careful to move this very subtly looks like mine already shot up and again this is so fine that I'm going to call this good so about 10.4 for resistance and so I'm going to go into my data sheet here and so for a resistance of 10 ohms I'm going to write down my potential current and power. And so you're just going to keep going. You're going to keep adjusting the resistance here. Next one is asking for 20. Again, this is really fine. I would call this good for 20. And you're just going to record, again, potential current and power. And you're going to go up, so 20, 30, 40, 50, 100, and 150. And so what we're searching for here is which of these settings is going to give us the greatest power reading. Something to be aware of too, if I'm standing behind the fan here, or if you have big large obstructions behind your uh, wind turbine, you can cause a little bit of resistance in your airflow. 
And so you want to make sure that it, the area, your lab area for this lab is as free flowing as possible. You don't want a lot of obstructions you know, behind or on the sides of your wind turbine here. Another thing really quick here too, sometimes um, you can get such a strong gust of wind that it actually moves your turbine. So as I was talking here, looks like my wind turbine moved a little bit. Um, so you could either readjust this, but probably what that's telling you is you're gonna wanna move your fan away a little bit. Okay, so the idea here is that now that we found the max power, you're not gonna wanna touch that variable load for the whole rest of the experiment. So part two, of the experiment is going to be kind of a choose your own adventure. You're going to be choosing um, two of the options below. So on page two here, I've got a few different options that you can choose from um, for this experiment. So not everyone is actually going to be doing the same experiment. So some of the options include blade area, blade pitch, blade quantity, blade mass. I also left an option to um, choose another experiment if you have a fun idea that you think you want to try. Um, you know, maybe check with your instructor for that one, but you can definitely do one that's not included in this list. Uh, so for example, what I'm gonna do is grab four blade types that uh, only one variable is changed in. So I chose blade pitch for my first experiment here. So I grabbed four blades that have different pitches. So pitch 30, pitch 50, I've got a pitch of 10 degrees and a pitch of 20 degrees. So the one thing with these variables, I like I said, I picked pitch. So I have uh, four blades with four different pitches. You wanna be consistent with everything else. So you could choose you know, one that has a pitch of 10 degrees and a pitch of 20 degrees, but if the blade length is different for the 20 degree one, that's not a good experiment because you have too many variables. So I want to make sure that the area, the weight and the length of all of these are the same. And the only variable that's changed is the pitch. And so that's the case for everything. If you choose blade length, you need to have four different blades of different lengths, but the pitch should be exactly the same. You should have a pitch of you know, 10 degrees or 15 degrees for blade length. Everything should be consistent except for the variable that you're testing. And I'm gonna run a trial using each of those. So if I go back to the table here for a second. My variable is gonna be pitch. And then what you're gonna be doing is finding the power at each pitch. So my pitches were 10 degrees, 20 degrees, 30 degrees and 50 degrees. So I'm going to attach each one of those blades to the wind turbine and I'm going to run a separate experiment. So a 10 degree experiment, a 20 degree experiment, 30 degree and 50 degree. And I'm going to find the power. So you're just looking for power here. And then what I'm going to do after that is actually plug this into graphical analysis. So we can go to graphical analysis. manual entry, and I'll show you how to do this really quick. We've used uh, graphical analysis quite a bit in this class, um, but if I go to column options, in this case, my X is gonna be pitch. My unit is gonna be degrees. Column options. And this is my power. Power is going to be in milliwatts. And so you're just going to graph your data in here. As always, let me know if you have any questions filling out the lab write-up. This was our Win Power Lab. Thanks for watching.